Hi, my name is Bruno Cossu. I am an Italian private researcher. I'm going to present a new wave energy converter, a wave powered air turbine. Its characteristic is that it uses the energy of waves to operate a water powered suction pump, which maintains at a lower pressure than atmospheric the inside of an hollow body, which acts as an expansion chamber, in the wall of which is installed at least one air turbine. On the way to an economy founded basically on the use of renewable energy imposed by the increasingly frequent natural disaster caused by extreme weather conditions, an important role can be played by the energy that can be extracted from the movement of large bodies of water, of the seas and oceans, waves, currents, tides. Such energy, in fact, is extremely widespread. 71% of terrestrial surface is represented by ocean and seas. It is an exhaustible and particularly dense. The necessary surface to produce the same amount of marine energy is 15, 20 times bigger in the field of water renewables as solar wind. It is performant in terms of produced energy. As regards, in particular, the energy that can be extracted from the wave motion, the OWC is the most widely used device to convert the mechanical energy extractable from the wave movement into pneumatic energy to drive a turbine. The plant basically consists of a oscillation chamber completely open to the sea, in which it is partially immersed, with its upper part in fluidic communication with the external environment through a duct in which a turbine is installed, which has the property of maintaining the same direction of rotation, whatever the direction of air flow. The rhythmic rise and fall of the water level in the chamber works as a hydraulic piston. When the waves rise, it pushes the air to the top of the chamber, activating the air turbine. When it falls down, a depression will be created, which allows the outside air to flow into the chamber. This uh, bidirectional airflow keeps the air turbine, typically a wells turbine, constantly in motion. Pro is the sample construction and the sturdiness. No mechanical elements in movement apart from the turbine. Low environmental impact due to the possibility to insert the device in existing maritime structures. Cons, low density of extracted energy. The pressure lip, lip on the air produced by the oscillating water column in the chamber is limited to few tins of ATM because it is connected to the water level variation produced by the waves. Low efficiency of well turbine if compared to a traditional turbine. Significant energy losses, which are due to speed and direction change of airflow activating the turbine frictions and internal vortex inside the chamber relate to the fluid dynamic behavior of the air, which is forced at every rise and fall of the waves. 
All the disadvantages above mentioned are overcome with a WAP. All the PRO are maintained. The WPAT has also additional benefits. Much denser energy from the wave motion and consequently smaller turbine with high rotation speed. Only directional airflow with relatively constant speed and consequently less inner energy dissipation. Simple integration in pre-existing structure such as OWC at low construction cost. WAPT can be located both on shoreline plants rather than on offshore structures. WPAT is the acronym for Wave Power Air Turbine and it is a WEC prototype which uses the energy of the waves to operate a water power suction pump which maintains the inside of an hollow body in which an air turbine is installed at a pressure lower than the atmospheric one. It basically means that air at atmospheric pressure operating as compressed air can flow and expand inside the chamber and rotate the turbine. WPAT is basically composed by four units. First, water power suction pump working on Venturi effect or combined with a siphon effect. Caisson acting as an expansion chamber, chamber. One or more air turbine located in the caisson. One or more ducts which connect the inside of a caisson with a water power suction pump. The water power suction pump is the most important element of WPAT. Basically, it is composed of a duct which develops at least in a segment with a convergent divergent profile. It is immersed in the seawater, even partially, and it is solidly connected to a fixed or floating structure. It can work through the Venturi effect alone or combined with the siphon effect. When the WPAT is in its shoreline configuration and or inside pre-existing portal structures, the suction pump is normally made of two opposite walls, convergent, divergent solidly connected between each other. Its section corresponds to a Venturi tube in which the diverging segment which rises above sea level when the sea is calm reaches the age slight less than enough of the average of the waves recorded inside. The vacuum that the Venturi suction pump can create in, case, in the expansion chamber doesn't depend on the age of the wave but on the degree of a constriction of a narrow section. Therefore, also with waves of moderate age, two, three meters, it is possible to establish and maintain a pressure below zero to atmosphere in the expansion chamber. The suction pump can have a similar structure when installed offshore. In this case, the two walls have a circular shape and surround a floating structure, which can be a caisson itself, to which they are solidly joined. The structure can be anchored to the bottom in a rigid or in a loose way. The WPAT can be combined to an overtopping device. In this case, the suction pump is not driven straight by the waves, but rather by the flux of the water stored in the, in the overtopping reservoir. The water is discharged thanks to a geodetic leap between the free surface of the water stored in the overtopping reservoir and the lower level of a surrounding sea. In this picture, the suction pump is, a, is an ordinary circular cross-section Venturi pipe located in a vertical position which crosses the bottom of the basin, whose higher end point work as an inlet to discharge the water in the sea. 
to enhance the immediate performance of the duct and reducing at the same time the pressure drop, drop related to the significant, significant cross section variation of a convergent divergent segment, the duct itself can be designed as a siphon with a right tight cross section located in the upper part, as reported in the following sketch. I want to specify that when I talked the need of reducing the pressure drop, I mean to say reduction of pressure without conversion to other forms of energy, that is to say energy dissipation. In this configuration, the suction pump works with a combined effect of siphon and venturi pipe. The advantage of this configuration relies on the fact that depression is produced, as previously mentioned, by the combination of two energy transformations. First, conversion of pressure energy in kinetic energy, venturi effect. Second, conversion of a pressure energy in geodetic energy, siphon effect. Evidently, the former version has application also in overtopping plant shoreline. It is also possible, and it is a circumstance of great relevance, to combine the WPAT with an ordinary OWC, as shown in the following picture. In this regard, it is enough to build a wall inside the oscillating chamber, which creates a second chamber where the water that overcomes the wall gets trapped. Such water is then discharged in the sea when the wave retreats. The caisson and the turbine are placed outside on the top of the OWC or nearby. Caisson is an hollow body that works ex an expansion chamber. It is connected with the outside by two openings. One is connected with a suction device. The other is equipped with one or more air turbines located in one or more openings on its wall. In the shoreline configuration, the caisson can be placed even far from the suction pump. In the offshore configuration, the caisson is necessarily designed as a unique body with a suction pump. Air turbine. It is an ordinary high speed turbine connected to electric generator rather than to any other machine, compressor, pump, and so on. The air turbine can be designed also in a coaxial configuration. We are located in the opposite walls of a caisson. According to what mentioned above, I believe that a WPAT can be therefore one of the most important devices for the exp exploitation of the immense energy achievable from the wave motion. I believe that I am a lawyer. I am aware that the system illustrated is a rough representation of an invention and before being implemented, it is necessary. A proper design, calculation, verify, and so on. Nevertheless, I believe that the idea behind the project is correct. If so, the WPT could contribute to the reduction of greenhouse emissions and the global warming. If so, my hope is to stimulate interest in verifying the soundness of the idea and its full visibility. The planet has need of our contribution and ideas for its and our safety. 
Thank you for the attention. Ciao.